British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has gone on a victory lap in northeast England following the Conservatives' biggest election win in 30 years. While the Tory leader is revelling in his success, Labor is facing tough questions after the party's worst defeat since 1935. Well, this is a very, very frothy looking fight. <laughs> the hands of history. Boris Johnson clasping success with the new Tory MP for Sedgefield. A victory rally pointedly held in the seat whose predecessor also redrew the electoral map the other way, Tony Blair. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. But the appeal of this man means Labour's heartland saw the biggest swing to the Tories of any region in the country. Seven fewer Labour MPs in the North East after Thursday as each one of their seats turned blue. Sedgefield yeah. of Bishop Auckland yeah. of Stockton South yeah. of Darlington yeah. where my ancestors come from it turns out <laughs> North West Durham yeah. Blythe Valley yeah. and Redcar yeah. He won, promising to be a one-nation Prime Minister. Soon he will have to reveal what that actually means in practice. History helps explain why something extraordinary happened on Thursday night, meaning several of these men and women became MPs in seats never before represented by Conservatives. North West Durham has never been Conservative. Bishop Auckland, first time Conservative this year. Sedgefield was Conservative between 1931 and 1935. What was different this time? There was those three very strong tenants on the doorstep. One was, you know, why are we still in Europe? Why hasn't it been done? Can we get it done, please? The other one was the Labour leader. And then the third one was, why is our MP not leading the charge? But who is best to judge what one nation is these days? I think for him it means spending on health and education. But for us it meant something more than that. It meant a politer, gentler form of politics. It meant trying to be courteous to people, it meant trying to bring people together. And I think there may be a bit of a risk that that's got lost in what was a pretty punchy campaign. This building, an icon of the Blair years, was where New Labour was born and three general election victories were conceived. But the North East could also be the area where Labour dies if the party's allowed to wither on the vine like it has done in Scotland. If Boris Johnson lives up to his One Nation promise, then Tories think that they're in with a chance of hanging on. But that's still a big if. <laughs> Boris Johnson's victory means you can now walk coast to coast, from Redcar on the east to Workington in the west, without ever leaving Tory-controlled seats. It's a long, long journey back for Labour.